far from the mainland, in the Indian Ocean, there is an island embedded with high mountains, dramatic clouds and sandy beaches. Lush green forests drench in rain. This combination of varied landscape and isolation from mainland created enormous and endemic diversity of unique animals. During 1990s, the first expedition was done by Zoological Survey of India to unfold the mysteries of this island. This is the land of the indigenous people, known as the land of Naked. This is the Great Nicobar. Nicobar group of islands is situated south of Andaman and north of Sumatra. The scientists of ZSI focused their survey on the Great Nicobar Island in five localities. On the southern side, Galatia. On the eastern, Nevidera. Great Nicobar Biosphere Reserve at the center, Afra Bay to the north, and the southernmost point of India, the Pagmillion Point or the Indira Point. Nicobar is always magical. The untamed evergreen rainforests, the pristine beaches, and the wild treasures. Almost three decades after the first expedition, the scientists of Zoological Survey of India set their feet on Nicobar, skilled with modern equipments to explore the island and its rich faunal wealth in deeper way. We headed for our first destination, the Galatia Wildlife Sanctuary, known for some unique and endemic creatures. The forest camp is almost flooded in rainwater. Just near the camp, we encountered a poisonous snake. Dealing with one of the most dangerous snake secret. Galatia is connected with a freshwater river channel. Just beside the river, there is a cave, a home of a bat, Nicobar leaf nose bat. This nocturnal species lives in groups, in shaded areas, mainly in caves or dens, and communicate through echolocation. Sun goes down, darkness envelops the island. The team emits low tide, head towards the beach to witness one of the rarest and unique creatures on earth. Largest of all turtle, the leatherback sea turtle measures 5 to 8 feet and weighs 400 to 700 kilograms. Galatia is one of the important nesting ground of leatherback turtle in the world. In a single night, 10 to 15 turtles have been seen coming to the beach to lay eggs. The turtles return to their world in the deep sea leaving behind the fate of its unborn offsprings and a trail of flipper marks. It's not always a happy ending. All the nests are destroyed and the eggs are eaten by a predator.
and Nicobar wild pea. following night, another turtle comes. After the eggs are laid, the ZSI scientists, along with the forest department, rescue the eggs, a regular conservation practice done by the forest department. Usually, in a single nest, there are 70 to 100 eggs. To protect them from predators, the eggs are shifted to a pit in a fenced area, carefully covered in sand for incubation. There is something out of our imagination kept hidden inside the forest which is revealed in the dark, fallen wooden log. But when it is full dark, like a jewel glowing in green, even a tiny mushroom when in dark, a phenomenon called bioluminescence. When UV light touched the ground, a scorpion shining in blue rays of UV unique phenomenon giving the feeling of being in the alien world. Now we are in Nevidera, a habitat with typical tropical rainforests, hidden with deep forest species. Tree holes and crevices are home of geckos and lizards. On close inspection, we found a gecko. They lose their skin from their body. This is called as regional integumentary loss. This is an interesting behavior found in many species of geckos, especially most in Southeast Asia. There are some other geckos which lose their skin on the forehead, but this has behavior and they immediately regenerate the skin also. As the team proceeded deeper in the forest, we encountered a Nicobar tree snake. As we move further, in a fallen tree, there is a reticulated python. A Daniel's forest lizard. This lizard changes its body color according to the surrounding habitat. Dead and rotting logs are habitat of many small creatures. On closer observation, we came across a scorpion carrying its young ones on its back. Behavior called parental care seen in many scorpions. The fallen logs provide shelter for small creatures. This microhabitat is a home of many insects. A larvae of a bees beetle, the Pasalidae, which live in the rotten log and undergoes its life cycle up to the adult stage. Soil is also home to one of the important eusocial insects, the termites. They build their nest with the soil and fecal matter. But there are other group of termites, the open-air foragers. They doesn't build nests, they are forest dwellers. It is the time to return. High tide poses a great challenge for the team. But the team braving the rough conditions set further towards the next destinations. Nicobar is influenced with sudden unpredictable rain, lightning and thundering. We are at the Great Nicobar Biosphere Reserve. A pair of white-bellied sea eagle headed high on the top branch of the dead tree. A pair of pied imperial pigeon is seen cleaning its feathers. We 
rain always boosts up the life form for new beginning. The tiny shell creature, the mollusk, they get active for proliferation of life. We are here for something very rare and unique. We enter deeper into the forest. On the ground, in the leaf litters, there are many parasitic hirudans, which pose difficulties for the team, the leeches. Further ahead, a big mound on the ground, the nest of the bird we are searching for. After a relentless search, finally we spotted the rarest forest bird of Nicobar. The Nicobar Megapod. In the streams and small water bodies, life is proliferating. A carnivorous insect of hemipteran group the water striders, also known as aquatic bug. Hidden among the green forest birth, we suddenly spotted two eyes peeping towards us, followed by a harsh call. The Nicobar long-tail macaque, or commonly called as crab-eating macaque only primate found in Nicobar. They live in a group with an alpha male and several females. On the other part of the forest, another group of ZSA scientists are busy understanding the diverse world of insects. Collection of insect samples is essential for its taxonomic identification Sweeping and netting are the best process of insect collection. As darkness descends, it's time for insect sampling by using a light trap. Light traps are generally used to attract insects. Then, representative samples are collected and preserved for further scientific studies. Other than the insects, there are other which get active in the dark, the owls. The scoops owl and the Nicobar hawk owl. The Nicobar cat snake was also spotted on the ground. These reptiles get active at dark. As time flies, we came to our next destination, the northernmost point of Great Nicobar, Afra Bay. It is a village inhabited by indigenous tribe, the Nicobaris. A traditional Nicobaris hut is made of wooden logs and leaves. They harvest rainwater as sweet water source. These small, slender boats are designed as engineering marbles. A traditional Nicobaris boat. Nicobaris are fishermen and said to be the man of the seas. Their livelihood is chiefly dependent on sea fishes. The fauna of Afra Bay is similar to urban fauna being a village area. 
a surgeon butterfly a tiger butterfly bees and wasps are seen busy collecting honey and nectar a crimson sunbird and olive black sunbird on a hibiscus tree the dead fallen trees and logs in the beaches are full of life forms on closer examination we came across different type of webs the spider webs from the extreme north the team set sailing for its next and last destination the southernmost point of indian territory the pagmalion point also known as indra point The base of the lighthouse is now covered with seawater. Prior to 2004 tsunami, the area was a small settlement and a village, but the tsunami changed it all. In the absence of a jetty and strong winds blowing with greater difficulty, the team somehow managed to land. Tsunami has transformed the land to a vast wetland near the beach. a Kentish plover, a Pacific golden plover. Many birds were seen in the wetland. A wood sandpiper and a curlew sandpiper. As we move further, another surprise was there. A critically endangered species, a hawksbill turtle. The dead logs serve as home to many hermit crabs. These crustaceans use the shell of mollusks as their protection. As the sun sets at the southernmost tip of India, the team is contented and happy with freshly baked fish as dinner. Under the vast expanse of the night sky, the single light from the tall lighthouse shining. Team members sleep peacefully on the bed of sand in the beach. The next morning signals it's time to return to the mainland. But this is just the beginning of the journey in search of wild faunal treasures hidden in the Great Nicobar.